Welcome back to Craftardia. Today we shall be modding all types of non-laser pistols that Fallout 4 offers. At least all pistols that I know exist. We'll start with the 10mm pistol. This is the first pistol that you get to use in the game straight in the vault, so it is to be expected that it has a ton of modifiers. We will start with the receiver. This is the body of the weapon and it affects many different aspects of it. It can be light or heavy, which affects damage. It can be calibrated, which improves critical shot damage. Hardened receiver improves damage, while automatic one gives you automatic firing. The armor piercing is great for penetrating armored enemies, but it lowers pretty much everything else, which is crap. Hair trigger makes your trigger more sensitive than before, powerful receiver is pretty self-explanatory, and the rest of the automatic receivers have similar stats to non-automatic ones, since the names are rather similar. You can easily learn which type of receiver does what, since they are all named the same. Which one is the best? Well, I like the calibrated powerful receiver the most. It is heavy, but it packs a punch and it improves the crit shots. Next part to mod is the barrel. There are 5 barrels available and they all affect the recoil and hip fire accuracy in some way. I opted with the long ported barrel, because it gives a lot of range and a bit of accuracy. It does add more weight to it, but I like when my pistols are effective from a distance. Grip is next. Only 3 grips are available and they go well with the barrel since they affect the same things. The comfort grip is great as it improves the accuracy of the pistol, but the sharpshooter just helps more, so it is the obvious choice. Since I spawned the items to build with because I'm a cheating asshole, I must mention that the sharpshooter grip requires 4 adhesive units and I'm pretty sure that gathering adhesive is a bit difficult, so the comfort grip will probably be a good option for a long time when you play. Now we can modify the magazine, the part of the pistol that stores ammo, not cosmopolitan. The large mag can store quite a bit of bullets, but when you reload it will be pen in the rectum, so you can opt to go with the quick eject mag, which simply improves your reload speed, or the large quick eject mag, which is pretty self-explanatory yet again. The only problem is the large resource requirements. Getting this much adhesive, aluminum and spring is not very simple, at least not if you have more weapons that you want to upgrade. Then we have the sights, the little thing that you look through when you aim with your pistol. I actually forgot to get myself some circuitry to have the recon scope available, which is pretty much the only interesting one. It is a true commando mod that will help you track targets and it is all around awesome. But look at the requirements, it's gonna take a long time to gather these resources I believe. I took the reflex sight since it seems nice. I kinda don't like circles so I went with the normal one. They are the same mind you, there's no difference except for the aesthetical one. The last modification available is the muzzle. You can add the compensator that will help the recoil, but mess up the pistol range. The muzzle brake that will do an even better job with recoil, or the suppressor that will make your weapon silent, but will also fuck up the range greatly. Makes sense since a suppressed pistol is a close range stealth weapon. I decided to not take anything and leave it as it is. That does it for the modifications of the 10mm pistol, which I call the 10mm poop tart. A decent heavy long range pistol that can be used to kill anyone or anything that is close enough to be noticed, but still far enough to safely and effectively complete the murder. Next available pistol is the pipe pistol, quite popular among rebels. When it comes to receivers, they are all the same with the poop tart, except for the dot .45 receiver. This mod changes the caliber of the pistol from 38 to 44 mm. I decided to take it. Next up is the barrel. The pipe pistol has more barrels than poop tart, and half of them are very long, essentially making the pistol the longest possible range pistol you can have. I went with the short ported barrel, which improves recoil and range, a little bit. Now the grip is where the magic happens. First you have the same grips as poop tart, but then you also have the standard stock, marksman stock and recoil compensating stock that literally turn your pistol into a rifle. I decided to turn my pistol into a rifle and took the recoil compensated stock. 45 caliber gun turned into a rifle is probably a terrible idea, but who gives a shit? It's my rifle now. It's mine, and I'm proud of it. Next we can mod the magazine. Since the pistol can be a rifle, we have the drum magazine available, the characteristic mag of Tommy Gun. That shit looks cool, so I took it, specifically the quick eject drum mag, which has improved reload times. The sights have both the pistol and rifle sights, meaning that you can have a scope on a pistol. You can also have night vision scopes, which I can't build here because I forgot to spawn silver into my inventory. Let's not forget about the recon scopes either, that make your weapon very fancy. I went with the long scope, but in case you gather the resources, I would advise buying a night vision scope and a recon scope, and then switch between them when appropriate. The muzzle is the final modification, and you can actually attach a bayonet to the weapon. I was surprised and thrilled by this, because I love bayonets and stabbing people with guns. An enemy is bound to eventually come too close to you, and then you can nicely use a bayonet on the gun to stab the motherfucker. 
My epic pipe rifle has been finished and I decided to call it the DOT 45 Pipe Stabber. The next pistol is the Deliverer, a small gun for women. When it comes to receivers they're all the same as Poop Tart and I went with the calibrated powerful receiver because I think women like calibrated powerful things in their hands. There are only two barrels available, the short and extended, and obviously the extended one is better so I took it. The grip doesn't have a lot of mods either, just the comfort and sharpshooter. The sharpshooter is simply better so it is always better to go with it if you have the resources. When it comes to the magazine, same thing as Poop Tart and I went with the quick eject mag because the large one just looks annoying, having a large clip hanging out of the grip is not nice. The sights mod only has the standard and the glow sights, since the glow improves the pistol in every way, it is always better to get it. The only available muzzle is the suppressor and I decided to take it because the deliverer is a small pistol that seems fitting for stealth kills. You know when the wife plays detective and she finds her husband with some whore and then she just silently executes them both. Since women like elegant things I called this pistol the silent murderer. I found another pistol while fucking around in the console and it is the 44 caliber Magnum Revolver. I feel like a bitch calling this gun a pistol since it is more like a cannon than a pistol. And when you say pistol it feels like you're talking about a deliverer or some other small shit like that. No, this is a cannon. A revolver cannon. It doesn't have a lot of modifications available, but it has enough to create a few different types of revolving cannons. There are four types of receivers, all familiar from before, and I went with the advanced receiver since it adds so much to the damage that the weapon is probably able to decapitate people with one shot. When it comes to the barrel, you can take a mini barrel, the normal barrel, or the bull barrel. The bull barrel just makes the weapon look epically strong, and that's the one to go with. You could go with the mini barrel as well, if you're a little bitch. The only grip available is the comfort one, which is nice, because shooting a cannon requires a strong grip, otherwise you'll be left with an imprint of the upper side of the weapon on your forehead. You probably noticed the big ass sights on the cannon, well you also have the reflex sight and the recon scope. It is pretty cool to have the recon scope on it, it just adds to the power. It does look like shit, but it's still very powerful. I decided to call this weapon Revolve Me Hard. That does it for the normal pistols in Fallout 4. There are a shit ton of other weapons in the game, obviously, and we will cover most of them. There's also the flare gun, but you can't modify it, which is a pity. Thank you for watching and let me know of the weapons that you created. Are they cool? Are they womanly? Just let me know. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and I shall see you next time.